Hello my sweet potatoes, it is Michelle and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I curl my hair. I've been loving curling my hair this way. It takes me 10 minutes and it lasts up to 4 days and it's the most minimal effort you will ever put into curling your hair. I don't even use any products, I just use my curling iron. So I do use a straightener to curl my hair, but I never used to do this before. I used to always use like a curling wand. That's all that I really knew how to use until finally I learned to use a straightener to curl my hair. And it's so much easier because it's not as much of an arm workout because I would have to hold it up in the air for so long, but this one is so easy. You just like run it through your hair. It's literally like curling a ribbon. As for like my hair currently, this is what it looks like. I do have very fine, thin hair, but I just use a shampoo and conditioner that I got at Costco. I'll insert some clips of it here. It's an apple cider vinegar one, and I saw it randomly one day because I was running out of my old shampoo. And my old shampoo was actually from Wen. It's this cleansing conditioner, so it has the consistency of a conditioner, and it doesn't bubble up. There's no like suds like normal shampoo and my mom put me on that so I used to use the Wen shampoo but then I was running out and I was like do I want to repurchase because it is pretty expensive and then we went to Costco one day and I saw the apple cider vinegar one on the shelf and I was like ooh I need new shampoo and conditioner and I kind of like apple cider vinegar so I went on Costco online I googled it it had some really good reviews and I always like do some research before I buy things even if I'm just like shopping in Costco like at that moment I see something I will just google it on my phone right there and then decide whether to buy it or not but it had really good reviews so I bought it took it home I've been using it for about like two months now I want to say and I really like it I feel like my hair is even shinier than it was before I mean it, okay I don't know if it looks that shiny on camera but in real life it is quite shiny and smooth and soft and I feel like it's been growing really quickly too I don't usually look for much in shampoos and conditioners but the one thing that I do make sure of with my shampoos and conditioners is that it doesn't make my hair feel stripped and dry because when I use regular shampoos and conditioners like my boyfriend's one I don't know he uses like Pantene or something I've tried using it before but when I use the shampoo it just makes my hair feel like straw afterwards I don't know what it is but it just feels so dry and like kind of crunchy and I just don't like that feeling even after I use the conditioner it still feels dry and like crunchy but I don't feel that way at all with the apple cider vinegar one which is so good and it does smell a little bit like apple cider vinegar but it's more like a sweet apple kind of scent i actually like the smell of apple cider vinegar so i don't mind it at all <laughs> but if you don't like the smell then little warning to you but yeah that's literally all that i do for my hair care after i wash my hair i just let it air dry i don't use a hair dryer to dry it i just let it air dry so yeah my hair is naturally stick straight like this so that's why i like to curl it because i don't know it just adds more volume and i usually wash my hair like every three to four days and by the end of the fourth day my curls are still in my hair but i don't even use any like hairspray it literally just stays on its own and i know i'm taking long to get to the tutorial part but thank you so much for continuing to listen if you're still listening but this is the straightening iron that i use it's from con air I don't know the number or anything, but I will find it and link it in the description. But yeah, it's from Target. It has a few heat settings here. And I also like that it has a little lock at the bottom so that it locks into place. And now I'm just gonna plug it into the wall. And I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair finally. <laughs> so I just turn it on. It automatically goes to 338 degrees Fahrenheit, but I usually go down to the next one down which is 302 while that's heating up i usually just split my hair and just comb through it but i just do this really quickly to get any knots out and then i start from the back i just take a little bit of hair maybe like a one inch section i do have thin hair again um, if you have thicker hair you might need to take smaller sections but yeah i'll just take some hair like this clamp it and rotate it away from my face and I keep rotating it away from my face as I pull the hair through and then you get a nice curl like that it's nice and loose it's more of like a loose 
wave kind of thing and I really like that look so I'll do it again I clamp rotate out and I keep rotating as I pull the hair through and that's what that looks like I'll usually take the straightener off once I reach an inch or two above the end of my hair because I don't want this part to look all curly I feel like it looks more natural if the end is not super curled so yeah I'm always going for that like more natural loose wave type of look and you can see how quickly I can curl it too like you don't need to hold it for 10 seconds or anything you can just run the straightener through and your hair is curled it literally takes me like five minutes to do one side and then five minutes to do the other side so it only takes like a total of 10 minutes for me and I feel like the heat is not too high I could probably use the lowest heat setting actually I've never tried it but I probably could but yeah I'm just like breezing through this I just use my thumb to separate some hair and I just take like vertical sections and I just continue to curl it as I go down my hair so I think that's the key is to keep rotating the iron as you pull the hair through it's kind of a awkward motion but once you do it a few times then you'll get the hang of it I, it took me like five tries to like really get it down like five five tries as in like okay one day i tried to curl my hair with a straightener didn't work out i tried it again like a few days later didn't work out i did it again a couple days later still was trying to get the hang of it i was like kind of getting there fourth try okay we're getting somewhere fifth try is when i was like okay yes i got the motion down so yeah, just take some practice and I usually like to curl away from my face so I'll do everything on the right side in one direction same with my left side I'll curl it away from my face as well so all my hair on this side is going in the same direction but it's going in the opposite direction as all, all the hair on this side if that makes sense sometimes there are some very straight pieces at the end like that you can see the end did not really get curled I'm just gonna choose a random spot and just Curl it. Oops. That works. <laughs> I don't need to think about it. There's nothing in this world that we can't do. Flowers even mad about it. Cause they can't blow like you don't. I don't see a way around it. Cause everything has led me straight to you. It's nothing new. Baby, I'm outside. Been thinking about you all night. Be thinking it ain't right if you and me only see us in our dreams. I'm outside. Be thinking that you all night. Be thinking it ain't right if you and me only see us in our dreams. I'm outside. Once I have everything curled, I'll just brush it all out with my brush to really loosen it up. So it's looking pretty nice and curly, but I kind of want it to look a little bit messy, not as curly. That's my favorite thing about using a straightener is that I can go in and just like straighten some pieces afterwards and get that like really soft loose wave look so i'm just gonna run my straightener through random pieces i'm mostly targeting maybe like the underside of my hair and just like random pieces in between there's so much hair on the ground does anyone else shed a lot of hair just like throughout the day and then if there's any pieces that got a little bit too straight, I can just go back and recurl it really quickly, just like that. And that's that. I'm going to do the exact same thing now on the left side. So I'm taking a small section again, and this time I'm curling away from my face again. It should be the opposite direction of the right side. Oh, that one came out a little wonky. But we're just gonna leave it. <laughs> it's fine. 
And I usually like to hold the end a little bit as I curl down and then I let go once I get to like the bottom third of the hair. Be thinking much all night. Be thinking it ain't right if you and me only see us in our dreams. I'm outside. Be thinking that you're all night. Be thinking it ain't right if you and me only see us in our dreams. I'm outside. So much hair. <laughs> and that's that. We're done. And here's what it looks like. Okay, so that's it. I don't do any hairspray and this lasts, like I said, four days. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial portion. Stay tuned for a little update in three to four days. Hello friends, update. It is now Saturday. I curled my hair on Wednesday, I believe Wednesday afternoon. So it's been like three and a half days and you can see that my hair is very flat. It's looking very oily at the top by the roots. And I'm just about to take a shower, but I wanted to film a little update before I do that. You can see that I still have some of the waves, actually like a good amount of the waves. It's definitely loosened up, but it did still maintain a lot of its curl. I feel like it's more curly on my right side than my left, but yeah, this is day three hair usually i would use dry shampoo at this point i just use a little travel size dry shampoo from target from like the travel section because i don't use a lot of dry shampoo so it didn't make sense for me to buy the full sized can so i just use a mini one and i think the one that i use is not your mother's dry shampoo it's like the original scent i think but yeah i just i go for anything really and it works well even for dark hair but yeah i really like using the straightening iron to curl my hair and i looked it up it is still available on target so i will link it down below it's the conair double ceramic flat iron in white and it's one inch that's the exact one that i got so i will link it down below if you want to check it out as well and it does have ceramic plates and i feel like my previous curling irons and straighteners weren't ceramic so that's probably why I never had long-lasting curls because maybe it is the ceramic that makes a huge difference in the longevity of your curls. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how I've been liking to curl my hair. Super easy and low maintenance. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on my bell notification and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, I hit my face. I hit my glasses. Okay, bye.